Okay, so we're doing a two inch cube uh, with horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines. And uh, our standard is uh, refine and complete artistic works. And uh, our enduring understandings, artists and designers develop excellence through practice and essential and constructive critique to reflect on, revise, and refine works over time. Process components reflect, refine, and revise. Performance standards reflect on, re-engage, revise, and refine work of art or design considering relevant traditional and contemporary criteria as well as personal artistic vision. So as you're working, you're going to be thinking about this. You're going to, uh, maybe you're going to erase some lines. You're going to refine your work and you're going to create something. It's wonderful. Now, we're working with a cube. And um, so we got some stuff on cubic structures. Uh, so a lot of structures, crystals are cubic, believe it or not. A crystal is a regular repeating arrangement of atoms. Uh, and it's the simplest crystal conceptual is a so-called simple cubic structure, believe it or not. Uh, so there's a lot to that. Uh, there's a lot that we don't know about crystals. Why do things arrange themselves the way they do? There's uh, the mystery of crystals. But here is a simple cubic crystal. The atoms form rows and columns and layers. They sit at the corners of stacked cubes. And uh, so you can read this. It's very fascinating. Uh, got a warm-up question. Name two crystals which form into cube structures. Think about that. And of course, we have Saul Witt, who we're working, who we're working with concepts that he was coming up with. Uh, and that Saul believed, he used lines, geometric solves, ratio, patterns, formulas, and permutations to create his modern structures or wall painting. So, uh, geometric solid, or thereabouts, a cube. Assignment instructions. Using a piece of 9 by 12 white paper, you create a two-dimensional drawing, which will form into a cube. Your drawing will be made up of two-inch squares, which will have a length of 8-inch on the horizontal. At the 4-inch increment, place a two-inch square on top of the third square. Make half-inch tabs projecting out from the square, and make a half-inch tab project out from the end of your fourth horizontal square. Then draw out according to the direction, starting from the left-hand square. Heart one, horizontal lines in the first square, one-eighth inch apart. Vertical lines in the second square, one-eighth inch apart. Diagonal lines in the third square, sloping from the bottom corner to the upper right corner. Draw four, draw diagonal lines in the same direction as number three square in the square above it. This is square five. Diagonal lines sloping down from the upper left of the fourth, fourth square to the bottom right of that square. Three. Follow the directions in the video and see the diagram of what your drawing should look like. Draw your horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines onto your paper. Uh, then with yellow and purple colored pencil or paint, you will fill in alternating lines with these colors. When done, cut out with a scissor, fold at the corners, and tape your tabs together to make a cube. You must use a straight edge tool to make clean straight lines on your paper. So this is what it looks like. This is what your finished work will look like with just basic uh, lines, okay? And and this is cube one, or, or square one, two, three, four, and this is five, okay? And as you see, it slopes up from the left to the right, and it slopes down from the right, the upper left to the right here on this one, okay? This is what it looks like, the cutout looks like with your tabs or your flaps. And this is... Uh, what it looks like when you've colored it and this is what your cube should look like when you've taped it it may not be 100 percent uh together here unless you've glued it together i don't want you gluing it i want you to be able to manipulate it and, and adjust it so uh waiting rubric for art uh please follow every direction follow to the fullest extent that's a four okay neatness completed work is exceptionally neat that's a four work habits students work for entire period of superior focus and did not need reminders to stay on task. That's a four. And expectations, students exceeded expectations of his or her ability level. All right. When you submit your assignment, submit your assignment as your period number, your last name, your first name, SL6. SL6. Example, one Doe Jane, SL6. Assignments worth one point. Assignments are due at the end of class. Two photographs should be submitted as a PDF file made, in, made using Google Slides. Thank you.
So we're going to be making a cube and I would be coming in an inch and a half in from the edge here. Okay. This is an inch and a half. All right. That's an inch and a half. All right. Inch and a half. Start like this. For now, I have this, this device. This is actually one and a half inches. See that? It's about one and a half inches right there. Okay. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm just going to keep it consistent in everything that I do. I know what I'm doing. Put that down. I'm going to make my line. Okay. This is slightly under, but I'm not going to say anything about that. Okay. So you're going to be making two, a two inch cube out of one piece of paper. And you're going to be, uh, first thing is to make it. So we measure one, two, four, six, eight. Make sure we got all measurements right. Two, four, six. Using a something that is square, it's 90 degrees. I'm going to come off of this line. We'll put this over here, and I'm going to draw my verticals, my vertical lines. Okay, the vertical line. Do another one. Make sure everything is lined up perfectly as possible as you're supposed to be neat and exact in everything you do on these assignments. Now, measure two inches up this mark from the from your bottom, your baseline, from zero. And then you have this line. Now you're going to take your straight edge and you're going to run a line out across. I'm going to make this my top of my cube and I'm measuring two inches here because my line already is coming out here so I figure why not right because I already have those lines I don't want to be drawing more lines if I don't have to now I take my straight edge this is straight edge here and I measure across here right now I need a flap on this side and this side, because when I fold everything together, it needs to uh, be able to be glued or taped. So I'm going to come down a half inch, come out a half inch here. When you do this assignment, square one will be horizontal lines. Square two is vertical lines. Square three are diagonal lines, which go from the bottom left to the upper right. Square four is diagonal lines that go from the upper left to the lower right. Square five are diagonal lines that follow the same uh, direction as number okay so this is going to be horizontal lines so I start I'm going to start out at the top and they're going to be an eighth keep them about an eighth of an inch apart just like you've been doing on all of your assignments and they're about This one is done. Okay, the second one will be vertical. Okay, so I'm using this, uh, I'm gonna use the CD case for my straight edge. It seems to be a little better. This is not giving me exact lines. I'm not really crazy about this, so I wouldn't be using this anymore. This will be 
uh, diagonal lines going this way. So, and just so that to reiterate, this is all two inches. Each one of these from here to here is two inches, two inches. So I'm gonna come in here like this. This is, comes in at two inches as well. Come up with this line. I wanna see exactly what I'm doing here. So I can go here like this. I wanna make sure everything lines up. Now I'm done with this. Okay, so now this is a flap, okay? This is a flap. I could actually put a flap over here. I'm gonna put a flap over here as well. It's gonna really help us when we do our final thing. So I'm gonna just run a line over here like this. Now I'm gonna cut this out. Take it apart, just undo it a little bit, undo it so that you can actually do this. And now you're gonna start to draw your lines. You are using the complementary colors of yellow and purple, as close as you can get to purple with the colors that you have, okay? And you're gonna be filling in alternating lines with both colors, okay, of your parallel lines. So starting here, that's my first line. Now, I want exact lines here, so I'm using my CD case. I was using the wrong tool. You want exact lines. Okay, so now I'm gonna start on, got that one. Now I'm gonna do these. These I can do all at once, which I like. Okay, so I've got this one done. Now I'm gonna do my final one and I'm gonna alternate uh, with purple here. I'm gonna do purple here on these and uh, cause I want some contrast. What I do then is I just go back into it here, make sure I don't mess up. But uh, so now you can take this. Now I'm gonna redo my tape on here. So now I'm just, I'm gonna put this together, right? I'm gonna come over here. We can see our finished work we've done. together like this. Little by little we'll get it together. All right. Okay, so here we have our cube. Okay. And you could put more tape on here on the edge. You could angle things in a little more. But there's your cube. 